So now in this video we will learn about state management and how we will make them reactive. So simply we will start with the variable in here. We will declare a variable right in here. So right here and we will name this as account and we will pass the value 0 in here. So now I'm going to make this value reactive of this variable. So for that we will simply write in here dot obs semicolon so basically that obs with the value of a variable will make that variable reactive so after this we will have a we will have a method so write in here void and we will name this as an increment and we will simply increment the count in here so now we will work right in here in the get material a right in here so right in here first we will have a title in title we will say state management and we will also say reactive so right in here reactive after this we will have a home and home we will have a scaffold widget like as usual there will be a bar and a bar we will have a title and in title we will have a text and in text we will say that we will simply copy that state management reactive and we will paste it here so after this in body we will have a center widget and in center widget we will have a child and we will take the column widget in here set the main axis alignment set it to center now gross axis alignment set it to center after this in here we'll, we will have a children right in here write obx we will set it to tax and in tax we will say count value is now we will pass on the value with the dollar sign so write in here count and we declared that variable right above in here as you guys can see so we simply pass the value of a variable right in here after this we will have a style for it so right in here style and text style and in text style we will have font size set it to 20 why not? and let's set the font weight it will be bold so now let me tell you about that obx so basically that text having the value of this variable and that variable is reactive as you guys can see in here we write in here dot obs so it will make the value of this variable reactive so basically that count will be reactive and it's inside the tags and if you guys want to update the value of this count automatically then you guys will have to put it into the obx so basically that obx will update the value automatically so that's the working of obx so now in here you will scroll down 
put a comma in here in here and then after this we will have a size box we will set the height to 10.0 and then we will have an elevated button right in here so in child we will have a text right in here and in text we will say increment button or you can write anything in here now we will work right in here on press so now we will simply in here we will call the method of an increment as you guys can see here we will call this method right in here so now we will go and run the application as you guys can see the result so now if I press in here on this increment button this will increment the value of account variable as you guys can see so that's all for the state management and how we make it reactive